Ridiculous, Barack. Survivors of the Void was mid-tier at best. Unfinished, no secret areas in any of the new maps, the collapsed debuff, the fade to black after beating the secret boss, no cutscene at all. Are you serious with this L-take? Not saying it didn't have issues, Donald, but you can't tell me that the new characters and new items weren't great, and the music is goaded as always. Yeah, the music slaps, there's no debating that. Sorry I'm late, guys. I saw an ice cream truck on my way back from the speech, and you know I had to stop and get my favorite chocolate chocolate chip. I was beginning to think you fell asleep at the wheel. You know damn well Joe can't drive with his shaky ass hands, Donald. Ask your mother what these hands can do, Barack. If she's recovered from last night, that is. Hot damn, Joe. Damn, Sleepy is out for blood today. So, homeboys, what are we doing? We were thinking about doing a Risk of Rain 2 character tier list. What do you think? Oh, neat. I love Risk of Rain 2. Almost as much as I love chocolate chocolate chip. All right, let's start then. First up on the list is Acrid. C tier. Doggo is straight S tier, Trump. What is wrong with you? Boring character. You spam your poison the entire time and nothing else. He sucks at being a melee character, so you just end up pressing one button the entire game. Mid tier. I can see your point, Donald, but C tier? He's one of the easiest characters in the game, is great in multiplayer due to poison, and having two jumps is fantastic mobility. And he's a doggo. S tier. I'll put him in B tier. Next is Artificer. Garbage F tier is terrible at proccing items, and that's where most of your damage in this game comes from. Can't believe I spent 10 of my hard-earned lunar tokens to unlock this character. Everyone knows you just edit the lunar tokens, Donald. You have like 12,000 of them. Fake news. I was given a small loan of lunar tokens from Mithrix himself. I like Artificer. She provides an alternative play style, especially if you use Ion Jump instead of the Flamethrower. She might not be the best, but I think C-tier is fair. Agreed, Joe. Donald is just mad he sucks at the game and can only play with the command artifact on. Being smart is not an insult, Obamna. RNG in this game fucks you harder than you fucked up those Syrian children. Why would I play without being able to choose the best items? Put Artificer in the F-tier and move on. Cope harder, Donald. She's definitely better than that stupid handy. Do you mean multi, you idiot? You don't even know the names of the characters. Why is your opinion relevant? Are you really putting those hips in F tier? C tier. Glad you've seen the light. Next, Commando. I think we can all agree he's not very good. Easy to play, but low damage. Thinking C or even D tier. This is a rare Barack L. Commando has great DPS potential due to his high rate of fire. Bleed, attack speed, and crit are all amazing on him. And a ukulele and ATG will make you a murder machine if you get a good printer. B tier. Joe finally took his pills, I see. Commando may be simple, but with the right build, you shred through everything. His slide is a good movement ability, and the grenades aren't half bad if you know how to use them. I agree with B-tier. All good points, but my main issue is that he is very heavily dependent on good RNG. Sure, so are all the other characters in the game, but if you get a mediocre build with Railgunner or Captain, you can still kill things. Commando can't do that. Sounds like a skill issue to me, Barry. Joe, you play exclusively on Drizzle, but whatever. I'll put him in B tier because I know I'm outnumbered. Next is Bandit. Decent character. Invisibility is great, and both Desperado and Lights Out are fun to use. Wish his rifle was better, though. Nothing much to add here. Decent overall, nothing special, and he's fun to play. B tier it is, then. All righty, next in line is Captain. A bit boring, honestly. All you do is spam M1. Good damage, but no movement options, and his abilities not working in the void is moronic. His abilities don't work in the void because of lore, Donald. It makes sense. Then how does the remote caffeinator item work in the void, Joe? Stop trying to make excuses for stupid game mechanics. He has a point there, Joe. He already doesn't have much in the way of abilities, so taking them away in the void isn't needed, in my opinion. That being said, it is fun to use his Diablo strike and shit on bosses. And the hacking beacons are great, especially for getting the legendary chests. I prefer the healing and shocking beacons myself. Overall, I think he's an A tier, mainly because his shotgun is super strong with proc items. B for boring tier. Putting him in A. Next, Engineer. All you do is spam turrets all game, nothing much else to him. The Bungus meme is more entertaining than the character itself. D tier. Hold your horses there, Barack. Yes, he is a one-trick pony, but you're telling me he's worse than Artificer? No fucking way. C tier minimum. His stationary turrets can be put in walls if you do it right, making them invincible. Of course you'd cheese your way to win. Joe, you've never touched a difficulty above Drizzle or a girl above the age of 13 in your life. 
Putting the turrets into walls isn't enough to convince me that Engineer isn't the most boring character ever created. If you're going to play Engineer and almost never interact with the game, then you might as well play a different game entirely. D tier. Put Huntress into A tier. That booty alone is the stuff of legends. No disagreement here. A thick rump, good movement, good abilities, decent damage, can't miss, and has synergies with most items in the game. Easiest A tier of my life. We're in agreement then. You can go for a crit, bleed, or proc build. Unlike Commando, she can still do decent damage even if you don't get super lucky with items, basically making her a better version of him. Up into A tier she goes. Okay, thoughts on Loader? I want Loader to crush me with her thighs and call me a naughty boy. S tier, mommy. Super fun, all her abilities are viable and useful. You can punch things and go super fast. Agreed, God tier character, especially if you get the bands and headset. S tier, easy. Despite our differences, I'm glad we can all agree that muscle mommies are the best. Up next is my personal favorite, Mercenary. High skill ceiling, lots of movement, a double jump, good damage, and if you time your dash right, you can expose all the enemies you hit with the third swing of your primary attack. He does take skill to play well, and I'm not saying I'm the best with him, but he's a great character. Obvious A tier for me. He's cool, got a cool sword and a double jump, but I don't know, man, all that fancy movement stuff and timing attacks just ain't for me. No wonder you like Acrid so much, you just want a character you can play while dozing off. Mercenary is the peak of skill, his combos and tech are insane, and a filthy casual like you, Joe, would never understand. You've played the character seven times in total and never won a run, Donald. I have your profile open right here. Another fraudulent smear campaign against me. I have a 100% win rate with him on my main account. Yeah, I'm sure you do. Anyway, if no one objects to A tier, then I'm moving on. Thoughts on multi? I have to be honest, I have no clue how to build this character or what abilities to choose. Everything I try just makes him seem like a mid-tier character to me. C tier at best. Maybe you should consider getting good. Ask Ivanka how good I am, Donald. Say that to my face, not online. See what happens. I'll be sure to do that when you're out of jail, you annoying orange looking ass. Damn. I hope you brought some burn heal with you today, Donald. His face already looks like it's been in the sun too long. How's your son's drug problem coming along? Hunter would do no such thing. He already told me that white powder on his desk was just leftover flour from a cake he was baking. Seriously, Joe, let's move on before I have an aneurysm. I think Multi is a very diverse character. That's a lot of fun to play. Double railgun, rebar switching, rocket launcher, and saw. Not to mention he makes it easy to unlock Rex if you use retool. I think he's a strong B tier. Again with the terrible takes. Multi is A tier. Double nail gun power mode just shits on everything if you have even just a few tri-tip daggers and a uke or ATG. Yes, he does get a speed debuff, but you have so much HP and armor that it doesn't matter anyway. Do the right thing, Obobo. Just because you called me that, I'm leaving him in B tier, Donald. Ooh, next is Railgunner. I love Railgunner. Stop the cap. You are straight-ass cheeks with Railgunner. You couldn't hit the ocean from a boat. Is that why we won last run when I was Railgunner? We won because Barack and I carried your stupid ass, Joe. You died immediately in the Mithrix fight. Not my fault that fight is dog shit. Cry more. Anyway, Railgunner is B tier to me. Fun to play, engaging, good movement options if you know how to use the mines and the supercharge. Not to mention if you stack crowbars, you can just one-shot everything. But no ass in those goofy shoes knock her down a peg. B tier? You love being pegged, don't you, Donald? Joe, what the fuck? I told you that in confidence. My fault, I guess. Never trust a Democrat. Moving very swiftly along before I have to hear anything else that makes me want to drink bleach. Rex? D tier. Come on, D tier? Really? Hold on, let him cook. Yes, really, D tier. His only good abilities are the ones that damage you, so you're constantly removing your own one-shot protection. Also, elite high-level players like myself play on Eclipse, not on your babby difficulty modes, and in Eclipse 8, you lose HP permanently every time you use Rex's abilities. Not that I'd expect either of you to know that. Only elite, top-of-the-line, god-tier gamers like myself would even manage to get Rex to Eclipse 8 difficulty. Okay, Chester Cheetah, send a screenshot in the Discord chat of Rex with Eclipse 8 difficulty unlocked. It's on my other account. Yeah, I thought so, you lying bitch. Rex is going into C-tier, and I will not hear any further objections. So much for the tolerant left. Last is Void Fiend. F was thinking more of a D-tier. He definitely looks cool, but he's clunky to use. Healing items make playing his corrupted form almost impossible. 
And every time you transform, you stop moving and it just gets very annoying. Exactly, F tier, waste of a character slot. We should have gotten Chef instead. What do you think, Joe? Joe? Guess it's past his bedtime. Wanna go play some COD Zombies duos while he's asleep? Bitchin'. Let's just put Void Fiend into F tier and done. Up for some Shangri-La? You bet.